how to play flash games. As you know, flash was disintegrated from the face of the earth in 2020. So how can you still play all the games you used to love as a kid? Well, don't worry about it, I'm gonna show you how. First of all, there are many options in which you can actually play flash games right now. However, I'm gonna show you just three ways in which I recommend you to play it. The first one being the best one of my choice, as this is what I do in order to record my games is by having a flash player application. So, you just need to download the .x or the .dmg, whether you have Windows or Mac. And I'm going to divide this video in a lot of fragments, so you can actually just see what you're interested in. I uploaded the Flash Player program in a variety of sites where you can download them, so you can download it in any of your choice, and you might say, well, why do I have to download it from you? Why don't I download it from Adobe? And you see, they erased everything from their site, I could even download it. In 2022, just a couple months ago, I could still download those, but they retired them. Um, it's no longer on the website, you cannot download it anywhere, but from me. I have them both in Mac and Windows version, which is awesome. Uh, Linux, I'm sorry, I don't. There must be some other websites where you can download it, but hey, if I have it already, well, I just provide you. That's why I actually wanted to make this video. Because I can alone explain it so easily as I used to in the description of my videos. But hey, how can I know you're not going to put a virus on my PC or my Mac? You just have to trust me, man. I'm sorry about that. You just have to trust me. <laughs> so anyway, I'm using right now Google Drive as an example. But every single site should have just like this. Um, the the only reason why I like Drive more is that I think you can actually download just the file you want and not everything. You know, just download and that's it. I will be trying to be updating the game files, but I'm gonna show you later on how to download them by yourself. All right, all right. So after you download them, what do you need to do? Well, once you download it, you will have a program like this. You just have to open it. And once you open it, you have either two choices, whether you put open, examine, and you choose whatever .swf file you want, see, um, the Super Mario one, of course, you see, it's, just, it's running, just put full screen and that's it, I'm sorry, it's in Spanish, it's my computer settings, but you know, skip and this is basically how we record this is there's no fail um here it is a little but it's because of lag uh but that's it that's it or or you could just drag it you see that's it you don't need anything else just drag it and that's it it's as simple as that now on mac it's quite simple too right so in mac it's quite simple too you have your flash player the .dmg, you just open it, and you know, double click it, and there you go, you open it. And you might say, well, there, it's not open, I mean, in sets it's open right there, but it's not open. Where's my window? There's no window. There is no window, as you see right now on top, there you go, it's the flash player, you just need to click on open file choose whatever game you want, uh, let's say the flight of hamster perhaps, and there you go, PC, PC, and you can play. It is as simple as that, there's nothing more than it. You can even put it on full screen too, I mean, there you go, it's quite nice, it's quite awesome. Now, the other option you have is Blue Maximus Flashpoint, which I recommend as a second option as it has tons and tons of flash games. The thing about it is that you don't need to download it as you would have in the first option I just showed you. The thing is that it's kind of heavy. I mean, look at this. Um, they have two options. Basically, it's the Flashpoint 10.1 Ultimate, which is 878 gigabytes which is 
fucking a lot. <laughs> but they do have the light version, which is the Infinity one, and it's just three gigabytes, which is what they say a lightweight package for casual users. Uh, games and animations downloaded when you play them must be re-downloaded to apply updates, etc., etc. Basically. I think that the main difference between both of them is that this one you need internet and this one don't. It's it's just as simple as you will have. That's why it's so fucking heavy, right? That's why it's so heavy. Because every game is just downloaded and that's it. It's owned by you forever. Uh, this one you will need internet, of course, and everything. I'm gonna show you just how it works. Uh, the thing about it is as well, you need internet. I don't have a good speed. I, I don't have a good internet speed, so it's not good for me. Um, it uses kind of a lot of RAM too. It's basically just an app that has the Flash player, as you saw, and a lot of options for Flash games that I guess they're kind of stored in the cloud, and once you click on one of them, the Flash player app pops up and downloads the game. That's basically it, I think. It's great, but I I surely rather have downloaded the ones I have, I want, and that said, the advantages of this one is that you already have all of those games. You already have every single game, so you just don't need to search for them. But you need to download it on the instant, and you need a good internet connection and a good PC and stuff and stuff. So, I mean, it's your choice, man. It's your choice. Now. The third one I'd recommend it's obviously to play online, but well, you know, a lot of websites may have some malware and stuff, viruses. And I haven't checked into this one, but I thought it was pretty solid. I mean, Flush Arc, it's the name of this website. It uses Ruffle, which is an emulator for Flash games, basically. And it has a lot and a lot of options for you to play. You just click on the archive, or even search for the game itself, and you just choose among the library which is really extensive, and it has a lot, a lot, a lot of options for you. The search for Spongebob, perhaps, you used to love it as a kid, and they got me Ben 10, excellent. Let's see what I will like, um, there are some hack games too, but I think it's quite solid. I like it a lot. Um, you can actually help the community by uploading some SWF files yourself or even run local. So if the website doesn't have that game you want to play, you can just download it and use it as an emulator and that's it. And now, how can you download it? Well, first of all, we're gonna leave in the description files of Armor games. This site has a ton and a ton and a ton of Flash Armor games. I don't think it has them all, but it's quite solid. Armor Games was, or is maybe, a huge website for Flash games, so you might find a lot of games you like right here. If it doesn't, well, what do you need to do? You have another option, which is just type the game you like, perhaps that is WF file. Schwar, and you will have a lot of options to download it from, but if not, then, I mean, how can I be sure that these are not viruses, you know? Well, it's quite simple. If you don't want to download it from a third party, the only thing you need to do is to see the code, and you need to search for SWF, and you will find something like this, data and HTTPS, blah 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 blah, dot SWF, you click on go, go to that website, and it will start actually downloading it, it will say that these may damage your, it will not, just download it, and that's it, you have the SWF file, that's it, you can play as much flash game as you want, if you like this video please give it a like, it helps me a lot, I will be updating the flash games that I download, and nothing else guys uh, take a look around my channel if you like it I have a lot of flash games there that I played and nothing else subscribe if you want to more videos coming on and I'll see you in the next time
Until then, shkadunk. Thank you.